Howdy and hello! Welcome back to Mike's Game Domain. This is Mike and welcome back to Ark. So again, we're going to be experimenting with multiple characters. I did start a new character, Tiger, and begin playing with her. Um, this character is going to... <laughs> it looks like she kind of pooed her pants a little bit right there. That's, uh, that's a weird place to put that stitch or whatever. Yeah, there too. Okay, anyway... Um, Tiger here is a very well-rounded, um, well, I guess that's not much better, uh, okay, whatever, is a very well-rounded character. I've been leveling her evenly. She has 200 health, 200 stamina, 200 oxygen, food and water I've uh, neglected because I don't really care about those. Weights, I'm going to get up to 200. Melee damage is 170, movement speed is around 130. Fortitude's up to 10. I left crafting speed alone because, uh, even though it saves me time, um, Time is probably not a huge resource to be worrying about considering all these other resources that we can maximize. So, I've got her leveled up to level 69 and um, haven't really bought much Ingram points. <clears throat> I think, what, did I buy all the saddles? Man, what did I do? I think when I started playing with Tiger, I wasn't intending on her being my usable character. So for now, she's my usable character. I'm not going to make any claims like she's the one I'm going to use forever and ever because I don't know. But um, what I found is I'm not able to get in this base. So I was able to tame some of these creatures, which is pretty cool. I got a mammoth here that I haven't named. I got Roach, a uh, very low level uh, scorpion. I've got Sting, another low level scorpion. I've got Nana, um, a low level um, saber tooth. Ooh. Okay, Nana. Um, let's get you some, some fight. Let's get you some bite. Yeah. Um, I've got Bat here, who's a level 51. <clears throat> uh, Pteranodon, excuse me, and I've got Smog, who's another Pteranodon. So these are all owned by Tiger, as you can see, owner Tiger. Now, what's different about today than last time? I've set the game up to PvPVE mode, um, which should be player versus player, which means we should have a different experience as we approach Roy's pets, and now even Titan. Was his name Titan? I want to say Titan. Titan's pet. Um, I think Argentavis, I've, although I think the T-Rex, okay, yeah, after I, <laughs> oh man, after I died and I was sitting there doing my outro, as soon as I was done, I saw the pop-ups for T-Rex has eaten your Argentavis, T-Rex ate your other Argentavis. So Titan technically has an unclaimed scorpion somewhere on that hill, um, and that's it. And he's got this base, um, and I can't actually do anything to this base. I can't get in the doors, it's locked. I'm completely locked out. So the test here is that now, yeah, yeah, that wasn't yellow before, I don't want to say. I wonder if I could unlock it. Oh, I wonder if you can leave it unlocked. I didn't even know that was an option. Is that red? Oh, God dang. We got to go, guys. We got to get the reds. They're just way too valuable. Oh, I'm overburdened. What do I got? Oh, my gosh. Drop all. You don't need all that, man. Don't be greedy, bat. Yeah, we got to go for the reds. So what I'm going to see is can I damage Titan's doors? I want to destroy the doors. And then the second question is, if I can destroy the doors and actually access the house, can I build my doors on top of Titan's door frames? Basically, can I conjoin my buildings with um, with a non-tribe member's buildings? Probably not. All right. I'll oh, rocket for pro grenade. No freaking way. I know I don't have that. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So I'm going to go put that uh, away at some point. I'm just going to not die. That's the plan. Because right now I don't really have too safe of a spot. Oh, that would be a fantastic place for a base. Look at that. That's like begging to be a base. Huh. What? What is this? Oh, wow. This place is is sick. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, is there? if there's metal up here, then this is the new base. Because it has water. Okay. Just see stone. I mean, if it had metal and maybe a couple crystals, this would be like self this little self-sustaining pond. Because you could make a farm with that water, even though it's not that much. You actually could, I'm imagining. I see an egg. I just got a cool blueprint, so I'm not going to take that egg just in case. Uh, yeah, I don't see any metal. It's still a cool place. I really like the rock formation. It's Is that a cave? Ooh, no. Is that a cave? No, that's not a cave. Okay, so I like the rock formation. I really like... Um, I just really like the look of it. However, it doesn't have access to metal, so I think still the plateau is going to be the one... Um, is going to be the one place that we're going to live for the moment. I'll eventually build uh, a new base. I'm gonna. I need to make something out of metal. So now that alphas can actually destroy stone, um, which is really terrible, but it makes sense. I mean, they're going to constantly be making the game effectively harder and harder by uh, 
you know, because uh, as, as these, uh, what do you call them, alpha players are getting max level, they're thirsty for new content. So, um, so the developers are constantly battling putting in new game material for for everyone, but also mainly putting in new game material for the people who are at the top of the food chain because they don't want them to get bored and stop playing. That's basically how that works. So. So anyway, at least that's my interpretation of the situation. I could be way off there. I did build a smithy so I could quickly craft some metal items. And oh, so I could put the blueprints in there. Um, this feels very exposed though. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take these to a better location. I did build these uh, where I could make some narcotic arrows. That's how I was able to tame all this stuff. I did build a bed. What? Ugh, bat really? Um, I should have decent water speed, so I have mm, not really. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great either. I have movement speed boosted a bit and oxygen boosted a bit, so I was thinking that the combination of those two would yield a uh, pretty quick um, water swimming movement, whatever you want to call that. Watering, watery swimming movement type things. Okay, so let's go see if we can uh, deal with Roy's stuff and slash maybe find... Um, I did put that scorpion on neutral, so if it's still alive, it shouldn't just straight up attack me. Um, it shouldn't, uh, unless it's somehow reset itself to be aggressive. It could be, could be, because it may be just like a wild scorpion at this point. But I'm going to look for a scorpion with a saddle on it. Is that tame? No. It was over here, I think. Where was it? I don't know. I ditched it around here. And also, do do unclaimed uh, pets get, get like, despawned or anything? I'm guessing not. I mean, if wild animals are persistent, then I'm going to say that tamed, you know. Oh, that Rex is in trouble. Um, maybe not actually, <laughs> but I'm so used to Argentavis as being super powerful because mine were, and I say were, hopefully are soon going to be mine again, but we'll see. Don't want to get my hopes too far up. Oh, is that him? That's him. Okay, good. He didn't move at all. All right. So first of all, I kind of want to be ready for this thing to attack me because it's very possible that it might. Okay. So scavenger, walk up, claim. No. I can't. He's he's mine, right? I mean, he's own owner tiger. <gasps> no. What's on him? Oh my god, he's been busy. <laughs> Ooh, recipe. Uh, that might be new actually. I'm going to keep that. All right. And oh, lots of spoiled meat. For the time being, I do appreciate some spoiled meat cuz I'm going to need some narcotics. Oh my god. Okay, so Oh my god, that's awesome. So if there's a fairly reasonable way to, um, oh, this is fantastic. If there's a fairly reasonable way to switch between characters, possibly using the arcs or maybe screwing around with files on the computer, I don't, I don't want to do that because that, that could be what broke it in the first place and got me into this problem. Could be, I don't know. Could just been a normal game crash. But, um, yeah, all this spoiled meat. I don't need that much. Actually... I know, inventory management is like, y'all are getting really sick of seeing this, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I wish it would just kind of sort itself out at this point. But uh, such is not the case. Okay, so there's the plat. Okay, so I'm just going to tell him to stop. You're going to stop and go ahead and put yourself on attack mode uh, so he can defend himself. And I'm going to go and fly over here to uh, Roy's old base because we're almost there. I don't want to go back and forth too much. Oh, wow. I feel like I can see on the top of the mountain up there, I feel like I can see the Ankleo, but... That might just be a stone or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. That'd be some awesome view distance. <laughs> so I'm very excited. I was able to claim um, an unclaimed tame animal that w did not belong belong to the same tribe mate. So that's very very promising. That's definitely a step in the right direction. Um, it has everything to do with this being PVP. No, well maybe not. Because that's claiming. I don't know what it has to do with but I'm super excited for that. I'm very excited for that, guys. Uh, kind of scoping out for that ridiculous raptor. If I ever did tame him, I'd call him... Whoa. What just happened? Oh, hold on. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Just uh, put the kids to bed. Anyway, if I find the ridiculous raptor, I'm going to call him ridiculous raptor or raptor ridiculous or something crazy like that. Why can't I get on? Bat, please don't tell me you're drowned. And Ridiculous Raptor's right around the corner. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. I don't see him. Him or her. Actually, I don't even know. I think it was a female. It's even more scary. Females, I don't know why. Females are way scarier than guys. <laughs> Not humans. I mean raptors, of course. I just feel that females 
of that raptor species are the uh, like the dominant. I don't know why. I can see like a dominus female and then the subordinate males. Are lizards like that? I want to say reptiles are. I can't remember. Cannot remember. Okay, so. So, oh boy. <laughs> this should get interesting. All right, so let's do this systematically and uh, scientifically at least. <clears throat> I do have access to the vault because it's not locked, so that's good. I can't claim it though. I mean, there's no claim. Yeah, I can just use it. All right, uh, just confirming, just confirming that on PVP, oh, oh, that's right, you're still following me. I don't trust where you're going to land, so you're going to land up here, if you don't mind. Uh, where'd it go? What? Okay, okay, fine, as long as you stop, stop, okay, fine. All right, let's put the, uh, the goods in the bookshelf here. I want to say I already had some of this stuff. Uh, the silencer, I know I already had that. I'm pretty positive I have a water jar. Yeah, they always want to give you like a million of those. The GPS, I think, okay, I already had that. However, da 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 da, yeah, <laughs> rocket propel grenade, and that might be new. Let's see. I think this might be. It is. So it's decorative. Not only is berry base coloring a great oh, great for decorating cakes. It also doubles as a dye for clothing and buildings. Interesting. So it's like a super rare dye. I wonder what color it is. I wonder if it's use a different catalyst such as charcoal. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, that's just normal berries. Oh, you can use gunpowder instead of charcoal to make different dyes. I didn't know that. Okay, so this is just literally the uh, 18 berries. Good lord. Um, this is just the recipe for... Oh, I finally got the recipe for dyes. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, it's a great time to give me that because I was just about to dye stuff. Uh, not. I have definitely tackled the whole die thing, so that's kind of funny, actually. I gotta, I gotta chuckle at that. I'm not gonna lie. All right. So doesn't hurt to have a backup parachute. Are they heavy? Yeah, three. They're not light. Um, I should be able to craft that at any rate. All right. So, um, yeah. What was I doing? Oh yeah. I wanna. Is that the pistol? Oh, nice. Uh, the pistol that I'm not impressed with, but I'm so happy that I have it. I'm so grateful. Let me just say, I'm not ungrateful for the things that I have. Okay, do I have saddle blue? I do have saddle blueprints. See, this is why, ah, uh, this is why I'm annoyed with myself, because I went through and bought all the saddles. And I was just thinking that this character is going to be good at taming. Um, which is great, except that now that I have access to Roy's saddles, there's a lot of them that I don't need. So that's kind of a bummer, but whatever. Again, not, not trying to sound ungrateful. Okay, so let's see if we can tame Marcus or knock out Marcus. Um, first, I want to see if I can aggro something, although I need it to not break through the wall and kill me. Hmm. Roy's boys, are y'all? Okay. Oh, that was risky. Okay. Can I claim you? I cannot. Okay. Okay, so let me just uh, let me just poke Roadrunner here. Oh, he's coming for me! Oh, they're all coming for me. Okay, so this is a very different experience than what we had before. Uh, what we had before was that they just took the attack and did nothing back. So clearly the PvP, PvE thing has changed things. Oh my god, Stego, don't start swinging. Cool. So I know that I can at least attack and probably kill. If nothing else, I can kill these pets to free up this cage. Um, oh, wow. Uh, can I kill this gate? That's the other thing. 6250. 60. Oh, I can. Wow, I only have to hit this 6246 times. Or I could use the rocket propelled grenade once I craft that. That seems like a better idea. Uh, more important though, can I... Which one of you is Marcus? There you are, buddy. Marcus, I'm terribly sorry about this. Okay, so we know that that's about 350. Oh, that's going to piss them all off. I didn't even think about that. Oh, Skylord, I definitely don't want to mess with Skylord. Marcus is the great... Oh, 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 chupa. Chapa, chapa, don't get frisky. There you are, Marcus. Okay. Okay. 
One, two. I'm going to time these about five seconds apart. See if I can't uh, tame these critters. <laughs> Excuse me. It's not budging so far. Oh, he's unconscious! Oh, man. <gasps> oh. Okay, there's no taming, though. Tamed by Roy. Yep. I'm pushing F, I'm pushing E, I'm pushing everything. Oh, Marcus. I'm gonna have to kill you, bud. I think I'm gonna do that off camera, because it's gonna be it's gonna be awful. Um I think what I'm gonna do is go around or or should I just leave Roy's pets in place? In the off chance. Come on, come and get me. <laughs> And the off chance that somehow I'm able to recover Roy, or he just shows up, or I don't know, something like that. It seems highly unlikely. Just the one? Oh yeah, I only had the one, because the other two died. I really like this base, though. I'd love to use this base. Um, but... Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just going to have to kill him and just move on. And get new ones. Oh my word. <laughs> that was almost really bad. Okay, so we learned a lot. Can they be killed? Uh, should I kill one on camera? All right, we're gonna kill Marcus here because um, if you wanna make an omelet, you gotta crack an egg, you know? Probably not stab him in the eye, that's kind of mean. I was thinking if I, uh... oh, I can see his health. Well, uh, yeah, his health is by the indicator there. Wow, he's not going down at all. I mean, he's going down a little bit, but jeez Louise, this guy's a beefcake. Uh, do I have that shotgun? That would be that would be a quick way to finish this. Um, who had the shotgun? Did did Titan have the shotgun and then he died? I can't remember now. Or did I put it back? Oh, I got that. I got the rifle. That's good. I got the pistol. That's not good. Um, the rifle should do f a fair amount of damage. Let's get some bullets on us and let's uh, let's knock that out. I feel like stabbing him is just worse than shooting him. At least shooting him feels like you're putting him out of his misery, you know. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. They are so upset. <laughs> um, can I get his... Im oh, I can get the saddles off of him. Nice. Oh, wow. Easy there. Easy. All right, let's go for... Let's go for some gamma so that everyone can see. Let's go for 3.5. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I have the nighttime set on fast. Yep, it's over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, um, um... Um... Okay. Oh, I forgot to put, I forgot to put Bat on passive. So like technically, if one of those guys hit me, Bat would try to get in there and fight them, which is not what I want because Bat will definitely get slaughtered. Um. Well, guys, this is just something that needs to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put these uh, sweet little angels out of their misery. What in the world? Is he saying no? He's like, Daddy. Wait, Mommy. <laughs> I forgot I was a girl. Mommy, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Bat, it's okay. This has to be done. You know what? You, you don't have to look. You can look away. Uh, sorry. Yeah, this does need to be done. And... And... Wow. Um, this one's stronger. Okay. Hummingbird. Oh, I like Hummingbird. Oh, they look so majestic. Oh, this feels very, like, anti-American. <laughs> They're not eagles, but... Whoa. Uh, I can't quite get to the inventory to get the saddle off. Oh, I had it for a second. Oh. Oh. Get get away from me. No! No, no, no! You stupid thing! What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Bat! My word. Okay, so he got scared. Okay, so that's why these things were always halfway across the map. It looks like if there's any kind of combat, like anything, they just lose their they lose their cool and they fly away. That explains a lot. I mean, I'm not surprised. You know what I mean? I'm not surprised by that at all. All right, so let's see if they're done being aggroed on me. I'm not going to kill the others. I'll do the others off camera. You've seen what it looks like. It's going to be, especially for me, who actually train these things, and raise them from pups. Well, not pups, but you get the idea. Um, that's going to be pretty tough, but it does need to be done. Are you still mad at me? 
Oh, he's like, I forgive you. Just stop. Stop hurting my friends. What in the world? I can't get to the inventory. There it is. There. Nope. Had it. There it is. Got it. Okay. Let's just grab these. We'll grab some of this stuff. For crafting purposes and things. Okay, move. Oh, boy. This is not good. Because... Oh, my God. Because if I attack anything, I'm going to be mauled. Oh, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Huh? Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is such payback. Okay, I'm not even too mad about that. <laughs> oh, shiitake mushrooms. Oh, my pteranodon's over there. He probably ran away. All right. Is that the end of the episode? I think so. <laughs> that is just dessert. Just deserved, folks. So um, the last thing I want to look at is can I destroy the doors all the way down and then can I build my doors on top of the current door frames? Or can I, if not, can I destroy the door frames and build door frames? That kind of thing. Like how much can I intervene my buildings with Roy's buildings? I clearly am going to have to go ahead and kill all of Roy's creatures <laughs> carefully this time. Um, yeah, I should probably get back and, and get my stuff before it um, goes away. But yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It was not really that enjoyable, but it's kind of a fun, you know, we're learning. So PVP is the way to do it if you want to share. Uh, oh, yeah, we did learn that we can share pets with each other uh, by unclaiming them. That's huge. That's a huge discovery. So I'm very happy to have learned that. Um, please like, subscribe, and please leave me a comment if you have anything to say. Um, I would love to answer any questions or just chit chat with you anytime. This is Mike with Mike Game Domain. Thank you for watching, and we'll play again soon. Bye-bye.